Good evening. How's your day been? Thought I'd check in. I've been building a chest of drawers today. Oh, it's tested my patience. I had a little hand from uh, lovely Nick over the road. Nothing major, but just to get something solid in the middle. One of the screws wasn't going in properly. So anyway, I've just finished and it's looking really good. <laughs> I'm really pleased with myself. I'm sure Dad's been helping me. Anyway, I thought I'd see if Kuan Yin might have a message for us this evening. Have you had a look at the moon yet? I haven't been outside and had a look yet this evening. Um, it was very bright last night. It's full, it was full at lunchtime today in the UK. I've definitely been feeling the energy today. I really haven't done a great deal. I was going to go for a walk and all sorts of things, but um, I've spent the whole day in the house. But hey, I've made soup. I've fixed my chest of drawers together. So I suppose I've had a productive day. Even chilling around on the sofa is productive anyway. So, so here we have the Amaryllis Lute, card number 34. You see that without my reflection on it. So let's see what Kuan Yin has to say. This evening. 34. The Amaryllis Lute. Amaryllis actually reminds me of a friend of mine that I used to, she used to be my neighbour, Andrea. So hi Andrea if you're watching. You have won a victory, beloved, a victory over the past. And the Amaryllis Lute is sounding through every cell of your being, heralding your rising vibration as you leave fear behind you once again. In fact, the lute says that you are growing fast and spiritually. You are outgrowing your old life even more so. When your vibration changes, so too does your life, beloved. This is natural. It is safe and loving for you to release that which no longer feels right for you, no matter how much it was important in your old life. It might not have the same place in your new life. Just as a musical instrument can play notes at higher or lower vibrations, your own vibration is being refined as you are growing so far spiritually. This is wonderful. Be brave as you trust that you are allowed, indeed you are, in, you are spiritually encouraged to allow your vibration to continue rising, even though that sometimes means leaving people, places, situations and things behind. Some people in situations will grow with you at an equal pace. Others will meet you in the next upward spiral of your unfolding consciousness and life path. And still others will weigh you down and you will need to let them go so that they may live their own destiny according to their own choices and timing. The more you allow yourself to raise your vibration, to shine victorious in your journey from fear to peace, the more you will be able to benefit from the quick unfoldment of your higher destiny in your life. The Amaryllis Lute calls you upwards into your own vibration, your own soul vibration. This healing instrument of the Divine Mother Goddess Kuan Yin sounds within your cells, helping you continue to raise your vibration into peace. You will feel the effect of the Amaryllis Lute when you feel that you want to be more discerning about what you consume and how it might affect you positively or negatively. This might be food, it might be relationships, energies, visual or reading material and music, environments and emotional tendencies in certain friendships or work environments. This doesn't require stringent or fanatical approaches but the loot opens you up to greater awareness of how you best work to raise your own vibration. You don't have to make dramatic changes to have dramatic effects. 
even a small change in not gossiping, in choosing not to engage in non-constructive arguments can make a world of difference. Choosing to smile more, to be gentler and kinder to yourself and others, to not be a doormat and to be firm and loving about meeting your own needs are ways to raise your vibration too. Chanting, meditation and dance can help. Let the Amaryllis lute sound and guide you to the most beautiful and enjoyable ways for your, your vibration to rise. Remember that what works for another may not work for you, so it is an experiment and a fun one at that. Okay, this is about if we've pulled this with another card, so I'm not going to read that because we're just reading about this one card here. So here's a little healing thing that we can do with the Amaryllis Lute. Find a private space in nature or in your home where you can walk around in a spiral, starting at the centre and moving outwards. If you cannot do this exercise physically, you can imagine it in your mind's eye. Start in the centre and say, I now choose to release that which no longer serves my vibration, that which has held me back in fear or poverty consciousness, in illness or depletion or codependency. I release it and I set myself free to be more of me in love, peace and power. So be it. Begin to walk around the spiral in whatever direction feels good for you. Imagine that with each conscious step inside of you, a beautiful lute which releases amaryllis flowers into your heart is sounded. Imagine that with each sound your vibration is rising like your soul surrounding a higher note and you are releasing older energies. Take your time and stay with the process. As you start to walk, keep your steps very small and as you make the spirals bigger, move outwards with bigger steps until you feel lighter and freer or have run out of room. Once you're finished, say, I honour this commitment to myself. I will allow raising my vibration to be a priority. I give myself full permission to do this now in loving service to my soul and the planet. So be it. That is a beautiful card. Raising our vibration, that's really what our life path is all about. Raising our vibration towards love, towards self-love, towards love, unconditional love for ourselves and for everyone and everything else, for the animals, for the planet, for every human being, for everything, for every wrist, rock, for every crystal, for every everything on this planet unconditional love and respect so sometimes we have to leave things behind because they're not respecting us they're not being honest with us and um, it's a difficult thing to do but ultimately it releases us and brings us towards self-love and our own happiness and one day maybe those things those people might catch back up but Hey, that's their stuff. We've got to go on living our own best life, no matter what. So here's to the Amorous Loot, card 34. I hope you enjoyed that message. I wish you all a really, really enjoyable evening. And I'll see you in the morning for your cards. Take care. Love and light to you all.